Hey guys, so if you didn't know this already, Asina O'Neill, who is a very, very big Instagrammer, YouTuber, blogger, social media inspiration, she recently decided to kind of reevaluate what kind of an image she was putting out on social media. She is a really big inspiration to a lot of young girls. I think that's most of her following. She has almost half a million followers on Instagram or something. I think she really started to realize that her modeling photos and her product promotion and you know her bikini pictures and all these things were maybe not the kind of influence she wanted to make on her followers. She went back and she deleted a lot of her old photos and she also left some photos up but re-edited the captions to kind of tell you what was actually going on while she took that photo. It would be really easy to go through her account and look at her and think that she must be perfect. Um, she has the perfect body, she's beautiful, she is famous, she travels, you know, what, what more could you want in life? When you go back now and read back these re-edited captions, you really get to see that nobody's perfect. Almost everybody is guilty of being fake over social media. And, you know, it's, it's okay, it's not something to be ashamed of, but it's kind of just an interesting thing to look at. And so I'm gonna look through some of my old photos, pull up the ones that I was definitely being a little fake, a little pretentious, and tell you, you know, what was what was actually going on instead of what I put as the caption of the photo. Uh, I'm going on my Instagram account that I use for my personal pictures. This was the account before I had my Izzy That Fruit Bad account, which is the account that I associate with this YouTube channel. It's where I post food pictures. It's about veganism, fruit, that kind of stuff. This account called Izzy Davis, I've had since I was in high school and since I was like a freshman in high school. So this is where most of my like selfies and those kind of photos can be found. So yeah, I'm gonna go through some of the older ones on here. Okay, let's see, this one. In this picture, I am laying on the beach in my bikini. There's a bowl of fruit next to me and I, this was when I was homeschooled. So I kind of like had all my days free to, to do whatever I want. So I went to the beach, you know, on a random day. And I remember like I planned that I was gonna take this picture. I like planned in my head that I was gonna go to the beach and take a really cute picture with my fruit bowl and my sunglasses and my nose ring. Like I just remember this day and literally there was probably a hundred different photos and angles and edits until I finally found the right one and then I probably tried like three different captions until I came up with very busy working do not disturb uh, yeah I'm looking at this photo you probably think I just snapped it really quickly and decided to post it but in in real life to get a photo like that I had to like try really hard so this photo is from what was it? Winter formal, my junior year? Yeah. And first of all, winter formal, I drank maybe one shot of alcohol and I didn't want to drink anymore so I kind of like pretended to be drunk for the rest of the night. Then, that night, we all slept over at a friend's house, like 10 of us, guys and girls. And the next morning, I, I guess I fell asleep with my fake eyelashes on. I probably also took like 20 different shots to get this one, but I was acting like in the caption, I was like, I bet everyone looks gorgeous this morning, double tap if you agree, as if I was like hungover or something, like trying to relate to all the people who would like the photo who would also be hungover. And then in the next photo, it's like me and my friend, we're in a bed and this is on the same day, just a few minutes later, and I'm still kind of pretending like I was like hungover being just completely fake there. This photo is from a little modeling photo shoot that I did with my friend Bethany. The, the picture is really nice and I posted it with the caption says Veterans Day with an American flag and I didn't really care about Veterans Day to be honest. I just wanted to post the photo and get a lot of likes on it. And yeah, I did. I can, I can really totally relate. It sounds 
terrible. But I'm just being honest. I can totally relate to what Asina is talking about, where she feels like she, she, she posts things to get the most amount of likes. And she validates with with that, with how many likes she gets. And I totally, totally used to do that. Um, here's a photo of me that I think I made my mom take this photo. I like set it all up. I like knew I was gonna do my hair, my makeup. I like posed against this wall. I made her take a hundred different photos. I was like, that's not right. That's not the right angle. Try this, try that. Um, it's really hard to ask people to take photos of you because sometimes you have it in your mind how you want it to turn out and they don't, they don't know how to do it. But yeah, it really was very silly of me. This photo I took over spring break, I guess. I was at a friend's house and I look like I'm naked and I, kn I knew that I looked like I was naked and I knew that it would get a lot of attention if I posted it, so that's why I posted it. Um, I keep going down. I mean, there's just tons of selfies on here where I act like it was just a nonchalant photo that I took of myself, but when really, I really planned it out and I really took multiple different angles and tries to get the right one. This is from when I was borderline anorexic. I was really skinny as you can see in this photo. I was so sad in life. I acted like I was just out shopping and I was happy and I liked the outfit that I was trying on. But that wasn't the case at all. I only posted this photo because I think I look skinny. Like that's what would have been the real caption. Same with this photo. Let's go up and see if there's any recent ones that I can admit to. Like this one, I took with a carrot and I said, just me with a very big carrot. Thanks to Kendall Boris for giving me this. Uh, yeah, my friend Kendall like left this carrot at my house when she left and I was really just, I wanted to post the picture because I thought I looked cute that day. And I, I wasn't actually posting it to thank her for the carrot. If I actually wanted to thank her for the carrot, I would have like texted her and said thank you. But you know what I mean? It's not that bad, but it's still, it's still an example of how people are never 100% transparent or real through social media. But let's face it, people like to look at other people who are attractive. And if you've built a big following off of posting selfies and attractive photos of yourself, I think that's totally awesome and actually totally okay. People like to look at other people who are attractive. It's just the truth. It's the way social media works. It's, it's a game and it's a game to get likes. You don't wanna play the game of trying to get as many likes as possible. You don't have to play that game, but that's what social media is. Um, and it, I just think it's really interesting that nobody is really 100% transparent through social media. So let me know what you guys thought of this video. I want you to do your own video where you go through your own photos and talk about what was actually going on. Go make your own video, talk about what was actually going on when you took the photo instead of what you posted as the caption. I hope you guys found this video entertaining and inspiring and I'll see you guys next time.